Oh, baby. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? Long roof lifestyle here. This is the third take on these videos. I hope I get this one right. Anyway, so I think the last video that I did was a little update. Um, some stuff that I did may may not have done. Um, I, I can't remember. Um, but if I did mention it, here's a recap. So the transmission has been in the car for probably about two and a half weeks. I've been thoroughly enjoying the car. It's been really nice to drive, really fun to drive. Um, it's, it's a car you don't very, you don't see very often. I see more 240s than I do 740s. There's probably a reason for that, but anyway. Um, so basically, I had the car off the road for eight months. I was working on the transmission. The transmission had a jacked up input shaft bearing, which I replaced. After I got the transmission and everything back in, I went ahead and replaced my motor mounts. You can't see this one that well. It's down in there and it's dark. I replaced both motor mounts. I replaced my transmission mount. You can kind of see the other one right there. A little bit. And I also did the um, Yoshi Fab uh, press fit 10 AN upgrade that goes into the uh, oil drain pan for the uh, turbo drain, the turbo oil drain, should I say. Uh, it's been working like a charm. No leaks or anything of the sort. Thank God. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I changed it out because the other one was uh, leaking. So it ain't leaking anymore, thankfully. So got that done and all that good stuff. You probably won't be able to see it. Nah, nah. Have to get done with the car for that basically. Car's too low. So got all that done. Um, I just got in some plugs and wires, OEM stuff, Volvo plugs, bogey cord, I guess is how I pronounce it, uh, bogey cord wires, whatnot. Uh, I'm going to be doing that very soon. I may do a little video on that. Everybody knows how to change plugs, but you know, I want some content for my channel. So if I have to change plugs to make content, then I'll have to change plugs to make content, you know, whatever. Uh, other than all that, um, the overdrive jacking up on me which kind of doesn't surprise me but it still pisses me off at the same time um cruise control it worked when I parked the vehicle it doesn't work anymore so I'm going to explain to y'all real quick a little bit about what I did to isolate a couple of things so I tested the fact that this has power, the whole thing, because you got your controls right here and whatnot. You can hear it click. That's off. That's on. Then pulling it forward is resume. That's resume. Now there's your activation button right there when you're strolling down the road like 45 miles an hour or whatever. Um, I verified that all that's getting power. Um, at first I thought that it was the actual button itself. Dang, I need to learn how to hold this thing. Uh, at first I thought it was the button itself, but I verified that that had power because you kind of, you, uh, dang, you really can't see it, can you? Let's take a look at it. I verified that it was getting power by taking my voltmeter and putting it to that blue wire right there. That blue wire right there. Next to the uh, red and yellow one. That's the uh, signal wire for the button right here. And I verified that it was getting power. So that eliminated all that. So after that, I strolled my way up here. Excuse me. I strolled my way up here and I tested out my vacuum pump. This is right here is the vacuum pump for the, uh, for the cruise. That thing right there. You got three wires going to it, which I've had to replace because they were just shot. Uh, this is the power wire on the very bottom down there. You kind of can't see it. Is that any better? A little bit. So you got one, two, three. This third wire at the very bottom is your power wire. And if I'm not mistaken, the other two wires are grounds. So I just took some old wire and whatnot and I ran it directly off my battery and directly over to it to verify that it works. It works. But in the process of me testing it, 
I'll notice that my vacuum servo right here is acting really weird. Oop, that's the wrong way. It was acting really weird. So I decided to isolate that by doing this right here. You take off the hose on the back of it right here, and uh, if you suck in on it, it pulls it like that. See what I mean? But watch what happens. I want to put my tongue to this to stop it. Watch what that syrup, watch what that little bellow thing does. See it come back out? It ain't holding vacuum. It's bad. So I'm thinking 100% that that right there is the problem. Uh, that's easy to change out. You just unroll this right here. The, your, your cable right here just wraps around it. That's a little nipple thing right there for it. Right here, you can barely see. Kind of, right here. It wraps around it, goes into that. I've always wondered how these things work, now I know, which is pretty cool. Uh, those little vacuum servo things are right around 80 to 100 bucks, which is ridiculous in my opinion. Um, but I did find a, I think it's a 940, a 1995 940 at the junkyard. Um, I'm gonna go see about getting that and um, hopefully that'll, that'll fix it. Because from the research that I've done, uh, everything is the same. This layout is the same. So everything should be okay uh, to swap over. Hopefully I can get it for way less than a hundred damn dollars. But anyway. Um, other than that and the spark plugs, uh, she's doing good. Doing real good. You know, fire her up real quick. A little, bit of, a little bit of Bobo action for you. Yeah. Here we go. There it is. be able to hear it though if you have headphones on it's got a little bit of a bass note to it not a whole lot though other than that doing good good old tractor engine so to speak give it a little rev yeah buddy and don't worry i i, I drove the engine prior to this so everything is still warm I ain't about to I ain't about to race the turbo like that um, on cold oil. You know, I always let this car idle before I take it out. It's an awesome little car. I love it. This is what started my, my love for cars right here. I didn't know what it was like to own a car until I got this thing. And I adore it. If I didn't, I wouldn't put as much time as I put into it. You know? So anyway. That's that. Um, may end up doing that, uh, that, um, crap, can't think. Hang on. The train left the station. Spark plugs, yes. Uh, may end up doing the spark plug uh, video. Everybody knows how to do spark plugs, basically. But I'm just trying to create some content for my channel. You know, it's, it's nothing really interesting. But maybe for a first time or something like that, they just got a hold of one of these right here, or at least like a 240 or something with the with the B230 engine or something like that. You know, uh, I might be able to help them out. You know, so I got Volvo OEM stuff, and um, it should make it run like a champ. You know. So anyway, I'll go ahead and let y'all go. I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, like, subscribe if that's your kind of thing. I'm trying to keep this uh, channel going. Not doing a very good job of it. Can't really think of anything interesting. Oh, yes. I need to put the lights back on. These lights, <coughs> excuse me, these lights are not original. I took them off. I took the originals off and modified the old, the and modified some new ones that I found that looked very similar. 
and uh, I modified them with the LED. You can't really see it that well, but I modified it with the LED in there to change color and load. But uh, I have since taken that system out, so I need to put the original back in, and I'll be doing that eventually as well, along with um, fixing my passenger side panel and stuff like that over there. But you can't really see that well. <laughs> but anyway. So that's that. I might do a, um, a video on that too. Uh, good stuff. Uh, showing me putting the old original stuff back in there. So anyway, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. You know, something to chuckle at, laugh at, uh, or whatever. Like, subscribe, if that's your kind of thing. And um, I'll be seeing y'all around. Take it easy, y'all.